Hey you guys, it's Mel Town Recap here at the Town Recap Bar and we're waiting for the force James Graham to come and join me and you know, grab a couple of drinks. What's up? <gasps> James, come here. Oh my God. How you doing? So, come and sit down. I'm coming in, I'm coming in. I'm so happy to have you. Thank I you for having me, what's going on? We gotta catch up, we gotta yes. get some drinks. Hello, governor, can I get you a drink? Do you know, I just love, I'd love, I'd love a bit of this. All it's right. Fair, man. Uh, Talentino, you're what? not a bartender, you don't have hands. Why do you ruin everything for me? <laughs> you know, you guys, let's get into this. <laughs> so James, this is the first time I'm seeing you in person. I'm so excited. But this is the first time that everybody is catching up with you since being on the floor. Yes. You, you got to update us. How has life been since the floor? So firstly, thank you for having me. Of course. Great to be here. Um, it's been it's been pretty crazy. It's been a lot going on, a lot of different things going on, but it's pretty much just everything that I've been working towards for however long I've been working towards it. It's all actually now happening. So I'm tired, but imagine. it's amazing. It's just all every day is exciting for me. So you know, I have to ask you what's going on with the music, man. The fans they ask us all the time, <laughs> where's James? Where's his music? Is music coming? Music is coming. Yes. I'm, that's mainly what I'm doing, to be honest, working on music. I'm in the studio every day nice. around other stuff. Like I always go back to the studio. So we're just making, we're trying to like do two songs a day. Mm -hmm. So since the show, I've been doing that consistently. So we've got over a hundred songs now. Like You got like three albums for us, basically. Like three <laughs> albums worth. So we're ready. We're just sort of, we've been trying to get the sound together, decide what it, it needs to be, because obviously I'm signed to Republic now. So they've got their ideas. I've always got my ideas. Mm -hmm. So it's bringing them together and making, sort of a joint decision, which has been which has been a good process. But yeah, I think we know where we want to go now. I'm in with the right people. I'm writing myself a lot. So yeah, it's exciting. There's definitely definitely going to be music coming in the first few months of next year. Can you give us a hint on like what kind of sound you're giving us? I know you, you're really good with your R&B. Are we getting some pop? Maybe some gospel? I don't know. You got to give us a hint. It's, it's sort of a mixture between soul, pop, gospel, R&B. Pretty much, there's certain songs that are more driven by, say, mm -hmm. pop R&B, but the, the whole thing, ha every song has all those elements of different things. Like one song will be full R&B and at the end, the gospel choir comes in. So it's gonna be like a very classic album. I love the sound of that. That sounds epic, to say the least. Yeah. Now, since the four, have you caught up with anybody? I mean, Shreya just came out with that song with Little Mix. I yeah. know everybody's doing great things. So do you speak to them frequently? Yeah, me and Ray are pretty much FaceTime like every other day. She's one of my best friends in the whole world. So we yeah, always like, I, I go to her for a lot of advice because she's been doing it for a lot longer than I have. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I go to her for different <laughs> bits of advice and she comes to me just to sort of talk about random stuff because I'm a good random talker <laughs> to get away from the madness. But no, I talk to her all the time. I talk to Whitney all the time. Yes, love uh, her. Steph, Stephanie, I talk to Stephanie all the time. She's out here hustling. Um, I talk, to be honest, I pretty much talk to everyone sometimes. It's just the main, like Sherea, is like me and her, we made like, we, we really bonded through the show. So I talked to her. You guys the were the OGs of the show basically. So of course that bond is gonna be real. Yeah, no, we definitely, we definitely, uh, we started on the show together, went all the way through. So yeah, we definitely bonded, but no, I'm really happy for her. She's killing it right now. So coming to New York possibly, mm -hmm. and you've spent so much time out in LA, you're basically kind of like an American, I feel. And sure. you know what? <laughs> I kind of want to test how American is James Graham? Okay. How, how American do you think you are? I don't think I'm very American at all. <laughs> I think I'm like the most English person. I, in fact, when I was on the floor, the first thing of my VT, the, the, the thing that introduced me mm -hmm. every week, I said, I'm the most English person in the world. <laughs> I remember because, wait, you don't like tea though. No, I don't drink tea. You see, you can you can stay in America though. Your your lack of yeah, love I mean, for I tea. I mean, I feel like American uh, American people drink more tea than I do. I don't drink tea, but like in terms of as a person, <laughs> very English. So I'm gonna stop at this. So you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. So I have three categories. Okay. American terms, pop culture, mm. and American cities. Mm. All right. I'm gonna ask you questions from each of these categories just to test how American are you, and are are you prepared to make that move? <laughs> to the US, all right? Okay. So would you like a question from American terms, pop culture, or American cities? Let's go for American terms. American terms. <laughs> you know <laughs> what, I think I'm gonna pull out the pictures for this, because this has always intrigued me. Okay. All right. I'm nervous. I feel like Ferg is in the middle. 
start to find out what's going on. In the UK, they call <laughs> these biscuits. Yeah. What do they call them here in the US? Well, here's the thing, because hmm. it's confusing to me. How's and I know confusing? this now because I got told <laughs> the other day. But over in America, biscuits are scones to me. Yes. So I did the research. It is to you. Yeah. So a biscuit isn't a biscuit. But a biscuit to me isn't a biscuit. I'm confused. So basically. <laughs> a biscuit to me. Basically, I know that's called a cookie. It is called a cookie, you guys. You got that right. But this is not a biscuit. It's, that's a biscuit. So I found it interesting because I actually looked up Oreo. The, the label of an that's Oreo nice. says America's favorite cookie. So I was like, okay, in the UK, I know they have Oreos. For you guys, it's like your favorite biscuit. Does it actually say that on the Yes. Okay, see, there it is. We're, I'm, we're about to pull that up. <laughs> <laughs> America's, um, um, England's favorite biscuit. Yes. Favorite, no, it's a biscuit. Because to me, a biscuit is something that is crum crumbly, like a crunchy, like a biscuit. Yeah, I mean, over here, have you like Popeyes and KFC? They serve the biscuits with like your meal. It's a breaded, it's a breaded like very, flour. Very, very weird to me. <laughs> Very you know what? But you got it right. So you I'm got nice. your American, you Perfect. got your American stripes with that. Good. Let's get into a different question. Okay. Let's see a different category. Hmm. What is the Windy City? What city is referred to as the Windy City? I can make it multiple choice I to help you. Make out. it multiple choice because okay. I have no idea. Is it A Seattle, B Chicago, or C Miami? Seattle. Close. I just said the first one. But it was Chicago. Why is it called that? I don't you see, Chicago is called the city of the windy city because it's actually very windy. It is one of the oh, windiest yes. places. Well, I didn't know that. I'd never heard that. Well, so you, you know, learn that's something why new. I got you. Every got day you. in America, I'm learning. That's, a, that's the perks of being in America, man. <laughs> 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 All right. So, would you like to take something from American um, versus British terms, pop culture, or American cities again? We'll do pop culture. All right. If you get this wrong, I feel like a lot of your fans are going to be upset with you. Great. So we all know that the UK has Queen Elizabeth, but who does the US have as a queen? Oh, Beyonce. Of course it's Beyonce, yeah, okay. you guys. There we go. The beehive is, is... There we go. The beehive is happy we right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so British terms. Pop culture again, or American cities? British terms. I'm really enjoying this. Now, now you want to go? Okay. I feel like I'm growing as a person. I'm learning so much. Listen, we're going <laughs> to make you an American by the end of this episode. Perfect. <laughs> okay. In the UK, they call these? Trainers. What are they called here? Sneakers. I know that one because every time I say trainers, no one knows what I mean. Everybody's so like... They're like... Tra train, are, what are you, you looking for, for the gym or something? Yeah, literally, like, what are you training for? It's like, hmm? It's my trainers. But How yeah, do you okay. learn these terms, though? Like, when you just come here and you're like, hey, can I get a size? Because people have correct me all the time. Too. Yeah, the sizes are like one different, but I don't know whether it's one bigger or one smaller. So, yeah. basically, I can't buy stuff here. <laughs> without without <laughs> because converting. Because I the wrong size. And I learn because everyone corrects me. So like I'll be talking just how I'm talking. That's such an American thing to do. And I'm not like, going to um, lie. Do you mean this? I'm like, no, I mean this. Americans out here correcting James Graham. Yeah, I get Typical. really mad sometimes. I'm like, I can no, imagine. I mean this, I mean this. I don't mean this, I mean this. But you know what? When they go and visit your hometown and stuff, you can some. be like. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, no, you're saying it you're wrong. You're on my turf. <laughs> Which Kardashian has right. a daughter named Penelope? Courtney? You got that right. Is that right? Yes. I just figured that none of them have kids other than. Well, uh, it's Kim. Kylie. Kim. Kylie does. The only person that doesn't have the only Kardashian Jenner that oh, doesn't does have, have kids, doesn't she? Oh, that was just lucky guessing. Is Kendall. Kendall. She's the only oh, one. Oh, that was really just She's a lucky guessing. High five. Thanks, Courtney. Because we all know Kardashians are definitely part of American culture. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, our last question: Would you like it to be from American terms, pop culture? or American cities? I like the pop culture ones, so we'll go one of them again. I like them. I think you're gonna like this question. Okay, am I gonna get it right? I would be surprised, but you know what? Let's, I think we we'll need see. to pay homage to this person right here. Okay. Mike ja Michael Jackson was nice. known as the king of? Oh, pop. Easiest question you give me all day. 
There we go. I wanted to end it nicely. Yeah, that was nice. But let's do, let's do a bonus round because okay. I heard you say this earlier. Let's see if you really know <laughs> what it means. Oh, no. Okay. What does it mean when someone says it's lit? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know, but I think it means drunk. Does it mean drunk? Like if someone's lit, they're drunk. I mean, like, yeah. Oh, I'm so lit right now. So I'm you drunk. could be lit. I mean, yes, that is correct. Yeah. But it's lit could be like, oh, I just got this job offer. It's yeah. lit. Like oh, it's, so it's like it's good. It's a celebration, a turn up, something good happening. Okay, because you know? I was out the other night and some random group of people came up to me and recognized it's me and they were like, oh, James from the four. And I was drunk and they were like, oh, you're so lit right now. I was like, that's, yeah. yes, that's so that, yeah. definitely, especially in New York. Yeah. Okay, okay well, cool. James, I think that you are ready to just take over the US and I'm be coming. an American. I feel like I'm ready. I think Definitely we're ready now. for you. I know that Chicago is called the Windy City or whatever. Or whatever. But I think, I think here in New York, we're ready for you. I think... I'd love to be ready for you. I'm coming here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live here soon. <laughs> so I need to be ready. James, I'm so great having you. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. stopping by. I think we need to finish these drinks and um, let's go get lit. Let's go get lit. <laughs> hey, you guys. That was just part one of our interview with James. Now, we have something coming up very special. James Graham and ASMR. Stay tuned. Check out for part two. Hi, I'm your friendly bartender Tarantino. Come to the Bar Talent Recap by subscribing below. Have a drink. Get lit.